What's going on, you bunch of amazing individuals? It's the El Toro Fuerte, back with something new for everyone. I recently sat down with Ronnie and her crew at Harley's Toys and Comics to learn about some of their cute, weird, and embarrassing oh, customer no. encounters. The stories you are about to see are all true. However, we have changed the ages, genders, and even some of the items, mostly due to lack of resources. We hope you enjoy and let us know if you'd like to see or hear more of these Harley's Tales. <laughs> Here you go. Many things that happen here in the store, there's a whole bunch of weird stuff that always goes on and I figure you guys want to hear it. And I have a guest here who's going to listen to them all. So one of the first ones that's really cute, really adorable was I had a young little boy who came in with his grandma and I, the display case that I have with the minifigures. He actually saw the minifigure that he wanted. He wanted it. He wow. saw it. He dropped down to his hands and knees and started worshiping it and saying, Oh my God, thank God I found it. Thank God I found it. Grandma was insanely embarrassed and said, or honey, whatever it was, please get up, please get up. And she bought the figure. So he was bowing and worshiping a minifigure. Yes. What what figure <laughs> what figure was it? It was a Star Wars figure. I don't even remember because I was just shocked to see how fast he dropped to the floor. Was it Jar Jar Binks? That <laughs> <laughs> <It> was cute. <laughs> cool. Then there was this one time. Um, so a lot of people like to come and sell me things and they bring big boxes, crates and things and so they're always selling me stuff. Well, one, there was a box. I didn't check it, nothing. I priced it. I think it was had to do it had some kind of die cast car, but it had no window in it, it was just the box. I had put it out same day, someone came and bought it. They walked out, five minutes later they walked back in, said there's no car in here, opened it up, there was a knife. What kind of knife? It was, it's like a really thick knife, something that you would get from Roadhouse. Handle. So it was like a steak knife. I'm curious about the condition of the collectible. There, there was no car in it. It was a knife. It was just the knife. It was just the knife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do a refund. Hmm, a refund? Thank you. Okay. So we're, we're just sitting here playing some Fortnite, because we had the Fortnite set up for kids who just wanted to come hang out for a little bit. And this lady comes to sit down. We got a couple rolly chairs. She's like just talking to me, having a grand old time. She just went to sit down and just ate it on the floor and hit her head on the thing. And she gets up like, Aah! and like she's like, can you look at my armpit? And like pulling her shirt oh, down. So I, I thought you meant like armpit. maybe there was. Ex and she's like, can you touch it and tell me if it's red? And I'm like, uh. I was like, it's pretty red in there. She's like, yeah, but you need to feel it. And I was like, I don't want to touch that lady. I just poked it. And she was like, oh, well, is it bad? And I was like, well, it's a little red, but I don't think there's any damage. And then she hit her head on the table at the same time. And she's like, well, is there a bump there? And just has me start touching her head. And it was the most awkward thing I've ever done. So on the job here at Harley's, you became a phrenologist. <laughs> Basically. Sweet. <laughs> just like, just... Harley's Toys just... and Comics. Teaching more than just pop culture. Bye-bye. <laughs> so next one. You're gonna love this. So, people buy things. I'm in a mall. Apparently it gets confusing of what can be purchased from other stores. I had somebody purchase something not in this store, but try to do a return. And it was um, something I don't carry and I can't carry are RC cars or um, regular remote control cars and that there was a store here. Someone bought it over there, Had a, the receipt didn't say my name on all, it had their receipt and came here and wanted to return it. I was like, that's not from my store. Well, it's a toy store. I should be able to return it. I was like, unfortunately, it doesn't come from my store, so I can't return it. And they just got upset and angry and 
they, well, it's a toy store. I'm like, yes, but you got it at a different toy store. I can't return something that's not my item. So that went on for a good while. And she ended up walking out with her toy down the way just to return it where she originally got it. So the <laughs> customer's not always right, ladies and gentlemen. Especially when you're not a customer to begin with. <laughs> yes, I like that. So, going on a little bit different path. So, there are people, <laughs> so this one time, I had a gentleman, had a toy, had a box. He has it, and I don't know if he thought he had paid for it. I don't know what he thought. If if you if you slobber on it, you mark it, and it's yours. He was starting to chew the corner of the toy, and he's chewing on it and walking around, chewing on the box, on the cardboard, and just looking around. I'm expecting him to buy it, and he ends up putting it on the counter, and takes it, and leaves. Wait, this was an adult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 so more fun stories so for those of you who know you know I sell cards the cheapest card price is 10 cents um, so I look up cards when people want to look at my rares and I kid picked out a couple of cards one was 10 cents and one was 25 cents mm -hmm. kid looks and looks at me Oh, well, I can actually get it for eight cents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, do you want it? How, how no. Old, how, how old was this I, kid? He had to have been like early teens, like the twain maybe, middle okay. school, maybe okay. high school. I don't know. but That's great. I mean, you know, you, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll drive five miles out of my way to get two cents <laughs> off a gallon of gas, but... Yes, he wanted it for, he didn't even ask for eight cents. He just said, I can get it for eight cents. It's like, and you stood, stood there. there and. <laughs> Have a great day. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't even it wasn't even like on eBay where he submits a counter offer. No. <laughs> how about how about we meet in the middle at nine cents? <laughs> nine point whatever. Nine point nine cents. I mean, that's okay. I would have taken a trade. All right. So one of my favorite stories that recently happened. It, it's it's cute. It's adorable to a degree. Um, the, <laughs> being here and being a female, sometimes you know you get asked out. I, I usually someone will ask me out. I don't know what that's like. Oh, being a female? Yes, or <laughs> being asked out either. So, all right. Well, so this is my story. Um, there was a, a teenager that worked here in the mall. He would come and talk to me every so often. How are you? And what are you doing later? Very cute. Always dressed up, really snazzy. About like what, what do you he think? He had to have been he had to have definitely been out of high school. Okay. I want to say even maybe in high school later on, like okay. maybe senior year. But he came in and one day he came in. I was doing a redisplay of the front window. And he came in, "How are you?" He's like, "I'm good. How are you?" And and he stands there and he's shaking. And he's like, "Can I take you out on a date?" And I was like, "Oh, I was like, "Well, that's very nice of you to ask, but you know, at the time I was in a relationship, I was like, "But thank you. I was like, really nice of you." And he farts. There's nothing else I could have heard other than that. And he still <clears throat> stands there, shakes even more, staring at me. And I just, well, what are you going to do after work today? And nothing. And he just, his arms are straight down and he just bolts right out of my store. And I have yet, and I've never seen him again. <laughs> What what store did he work at? I don't know. Whatever one that you dress fancy for. That you have to be in slacks and a long sleeve. Who knows? <laughs> nice. Well. The he, I don't know whatever happened. I, haven't, I never saw him since. The moral of the story here, I think, is... <laughs> you. 
I mean, <laughs> I want to you never it. know unless you try. I mean, what's the worst that somebody can say is no. Or the worst that can happen is you, your bowels released. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>